um, and this is just me dabbing. This is just me hitting the dab. Uh, Talia, which is a tier one ISP, has uh, parted ways with uh, Path. If you don't remember, Path was the first ISP to uh, drop the Kiwi Farms way back when, when we were hosted in um, Nevada. Uh, our DDoS mitigator was Path, which uh, I did not know at the time, but Path employs Corey Barnhill, the pedophile known as Zoom and uh, IBS as their chief operating officer. And uh, when Corey heard that the Kiwi Farms was using PATH for DDoS mitigation, they blocked our ASN, so we did not have DDoS protection, which caused a lot of downtime for the Kiwi Farms. They loudly and proudly during Drop Kiwi Farms went onto Twitter to advertise themselves to say that they were actually the first ISP, even a year before Zayo, to drop the Kiwi Farms. They're very happy about this. Well, now they have been dropped by Talia because they haven't paid a single bill. Um, PATH is going bankrupt at all of its locations. They're not paying data centers. They're not paying ISPs. They're paying nobody. Um, and so they're being kicked out. They're being evicted. And I think they have one existing connection right now, and that's Equinix. And the nanosecond that they stop paying Equinix, they will be kicked out. So uh, this is actually a, a bigger... Oh, and they're being sued, by the way, for non-payment in Canada, I'm pretty sure. Actually, this might be in the United States. Yeah, this is in Arizona. They're being sued in the United States, but they... Um, are being sued by a Canadian company because PATH is in Nevada. So this is actually a bigger deal than it may look because Rumble uses PATH for DDoS mitigation. I have repeatedly tried to contact the Rumble uh, development team and the Rumble head of product on Twitter and via email. I have never gotten a reply. I have told them it is an urgent danger, crucial danger situation that they are using a bankrupt uh, company ran by skids and pedophiles to handle um, their DDoS mitigation because they not only use them for application layer DDoS mitigation, they use them for man in the middle layer seven app uh, mitigation, which means that when they're being attacked, they switch the routes over through PATH. PATH has computers that uh, actually terminate the SSL read the raw data being passed through the server, and then act on that data to determine if it is a DDoS attack uh, request or if it is a legitimate request. That means that when an attack is happening and they are using PATH, every single thing sent and received to the Rumble servers are being read by a company of known black hat hackers and a pedophile that is currently insolvent. I have repeatedly told them this is a fucking liability and they do not respond. They do not fucking respond. It is like, I don't know how many more warning signs. Insolvent, kicked out for non-payment, kicked out of a data center for non-payment, being sued for non-payment, ran by fucking retards. In fact, in, um, I want to say that in this, it is Augustus Hart. That's fucking Zoom. That's his fake new name as of 2020 was August Hart because that's the name of the, the comic book character Zoom. If I remember correctly, August Hart was the guy who plays Godspeed in the fucking comic books or some shit. And he changed his name to that. And he, he's uh, the, listed under perjury as the, the COO of this company. Drop them. If you are listening to this, I'm broadcasting on Rumble. How many people are listening on fucking Rumble? Um... 2,000 people. One of you has to have somebody's fucking ear. Urgent, urgent, alarm, alarm, imminent fucking danger to your business. You're use, you're letting these people, man in the middle, your fucking connection. Urgent, crucial urgency, imminent fucking disaster on the horizon. Please figure something out. Hurrain, hurrain, pull up, pull up. Um, God, there was something else. Oh, Cogent. So Cogent likes to pretend it's a tier one company. What is a tier one company? A tier one ISP is a ISP that has a cross connect, free cross connect with every other tier one ISP. So that means that when a an ISP can exchange data with any other um, ISP that exchanges data with any other ISP that's considered a tier one ISP. It's kind of like a circular definition. Then it's a tier one ISP. Just is, is that these tier one ISPs, if they want to retain the title of tier one ISP, must maintain a political connection to these other ISPs, stay in good standing, pay their fucking bills. 
um, and don't have traffic issues that result in them being disappeared because if they lose access to one of these tier one ISPs, they're no longer a tier one ISP. Cogent isn't technically a tier one ISP because they don't have cross connect with Hurricane Electric in a long standing feud uh, that has escalated recently because um, Cogent actually refuses to connect to um, Hurricane Electric at all. So if you have a situation where computer A wants to connect to computer B and it's merely uh, and both of them, one of them uses only Cogent and one of them uses only Hurricane Electric and it's an IPv6 connection, they actually will not connect at all. So there is a, a thing where you have two internets basically in the IPv6 space and that's because Cogent can't and Hurricane Electric has begged Cogent to stop being so fucking retarded but they refuse so Cogent terrible company deserves to be destroyed uh, ran by a retard um, who deliberately misleads his own investors by saying that he promotes net neutrality while being not net neutrality himself and personally involved in censoring companies and websites uh, they've lost cross connect with with who did they lose cross connect with? Sorry, I'm on a tear right now. I've lost it. Let me scroll up. Did I retweet? I did retweet this. Let me check my Twitter. Sorry. I, I want to say Talia again, but I don't know if that's accurate. Sorry, I want to get this right because I'm laughing at them. Oh, I put tweeted on the Kiwi Firms one. That's why. I know it's not important to any of you, but it's important to me. Um, NTT. How did I forget that? NTT Europe deepeared Kojin. That's a huge loss. NTT is a big company. Um, that's really big. That's really big. They're a huge. Jeez. Okay. Yeah. They're definitely not a tier one now. If they don't have cross connect with NTT, that's a big ass company. Um, so there you go. All, all these bad people, all these bad people I don't like are suffering. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> I gotta, I gotta keep like, my chat. My head is huge. You ever see that meme where it's like the guy has like the big head because he's been working out in the library. That's literally me right now. I need to, I need to rein that shit in before I, I start, I start, uh, getting too full of myself. Very embarrassing. Yes, Bossman Jack is live. If you are waiting for him to go live, you can you can watch him now. <laughs> Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice.